Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and it is time. It is time to really make a proper conveyor system. So let's get started. As you may know, I've actually been using this conveyor system with the tiny one by one wheels to transport all this stuff and it's been a headache. I mean, it works, but it's very slow and I've been meaning to do a proper conveyor belt system. I think it's time to uh, do it for now. Uh, I actually had some thought about this and I kind of have an idea of how to put everything together. So I'm going to start by using this new platform I built just to make this conveyor belt system. Now I am going to be using small grid and I have not tested this setup so I don't know how well it's going to work or if it's going to work at all but we could always give it a try. I'm pretty sure it is going to work. Attach a small head. I'll worry about coloring it a little bit later. So the idea I have is to do this. So let me show you guys what I mean. Basically before I even put the rotors or anything, I'm just going to do a 3x3, 3x3, 1x1, 3x3, then 3x3. So the belt system will actually be uh, by 5. What's going to be actually in the middle is the guide. Alright, so we're going to have the hinge and a block that runs within this guide. So it can't pivot left or right, it's just going to run through this guide. And then on top of that, we'll have the actual belt system. So it's going to be the conveyor, then the actual belt. And rotors will spin these wheels. And I'm also going to have a tensioner to keep it uh, tight. Uh, that's basically the concept and the idea that I have. Um, if you don't get it, that's fine. I'm actually going to build it out now. Let's see how this will work. So basically, I need to put a hinge here. Where are my hinges? Okay, I do need wheels, I do need rotors. No, I don't need the timing blocks, so I'll put the hinge here. Start like that. Okay, I figure it's easier to actually do um, a hinge like this. What I mean by start uh, is start the system by doing this. Drop this down here so it's easier. One and four. One, four, one, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm about to do 20 around. Yeah, that did not go as planned. Maybe I can save this. Let's see if I can. We are getting very close. Okay, I think we got ourselves a little belt. I should be able to take that apart. Everything would relax and I should be able to pull this apart now. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, let's see. Next up, I have to get this, um, you can say rotated in a way. I think I might be able to do it by cheating the system. Okay, just in case I screw up, I'm going to save that and call it chain. And what I'm going to do is put a bunch of stuff like this. So batteries help offset the weight. That's how come when you saw like a couple of videos ago, I used a lot of battery. You see how it's like lifting now. So what I need to do is um, balance the weight out by using batteries. See how I'm just like rotating it and lifting it up this way? Ooh. All right, it is up on a vertical position and I have to I could probably lift it off that way. Okay, cool. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, it's gonna be a tight fit, but yeah, I think I could do that. Is that too much? Yeah, that is too much. First, stupid rotor. Don't need that here. Okay, I need to shorten this one up. Maybe by one? Nope. Then I gotta shorten that one up by one. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, now let's set the height of our pistons to maybe that much okay first let's uh, replace this with an atmospheric thruster because it's just much stronger. Instead of using ion, I thought ion would have been better. There you go. And now the atmospheric thruster, thrust override decrease, thrust override increase. Okay, good. Now let's see if I take off these batteries. It loses its form, which is perfectly fine. All right, now we can lift it. This is um, kind of what I wanted to do. All right, now let's build the belt system. To start off, we need a rotor. Is there a battery here? Yeah. Let's take that off and attach a small head. Bam. Because I kind of want this to be mobile as well. Maybe I should put a landing gear on it. So let's do this instead. So five would be the width, right? Then I would still need the rotors on the outside. So it'll be five width for that, one, two for each side, five, seven, so seven. Seven width would be like minimal. Yeah, that should be fine. I should start off with just seven. Can I fit a landing here down here to fix it? Okay, now I can get rid of that so it doesn't have to be in the way. And I could build my little rotor system that I need. So first, because the vehicle is this way, I am gonna start off here. Five, let's do odd numbers. Put a rotor here. Seven, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, uh, now that we got that, let's stick a little battery on here just in case. Uh, now we need a piston. Put one here, put a rotor there, then wheels. Okay, now we have something that works like this. This way the piston could actually extend and become a, a, a tensioner. So uh, now I have to figure a way on getting this belt to wrap around that. All right, let's do this. All right, I have to get the belt off the ground, right? So let's extend the pistons almost all the way. Uh, that is definitely not enough pistons or this has to come down a little bit more. I can't make this go down because this still needs to extend to create the tension. So somehow I need to extend this instead. This time we're gonna lock it in place so it doesn't slide out. And I am gonna put extra batteries on the vehicle. I'm trying to get this 
to be dead center and pull some torque out of it. Okay, I can lower it a little bit. Okay, I can still lower it a little bit. I can't lower this anymore because it's on the wheel. Technically, I could detach this. It should be fine. You think? Because it is on... almost on the thing. Get rid of that now because this is practically in okay that's in that still needs to be in Uh, that is actually looking pretty good right now. I still need to pull this back into the hole. Uh, this seems to be in there, but a little slanted. I shouldn't put some pistons here to make it a little bit wider. Let's do that first though. Come on. There you go. Let's nudge it in just a hair. Aha! It is in. That looks really good. It actually sits in there and I don't think it's going to cause a problem and I should be able to rotate it. But for now, to be honest, I should have did that other piston thing so what I might do is actually add a piston now even though it's after the fact where's a merge block okay the whole thing's off the floor And if I was to give this a test run... Oh my god, that works really well. Especially once you put the tension in there. Yeah, falls right within the wheels, so it's got a guide. I could tighten up this tensioner a little bit, so let me uh, try that. Actually, before that, let me copy this. Torque. I'll remove that. Piston. Uh, max distance. Let's lower that a little bit.
sorry guys, the concept definitely works. It's running through that guide, so it's not going to sway left and right. It's also moving at whatever the RPM I set, so I'm, so the material is going to move pretty quick. Each block allows me to build something on there so I can make a tray. Oh, I'm very happy with this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually button this up a little. Alright, fixed it. Now it's much better. Okay. Alright guys, uh, conceptually this thing works actually pretty well because I finished the platform and once they merge together, it actually stays extremely straight so I might not even need that tension um, to help it guide because it's actually working pretty well this way and as you can see that's my conveyor belt system I mean I'm gonna make it a lot better and enlarge it this was really experiment to see if the idea that I had in my head worked and uh, it definitely did let me see if I place some blocks on there right now and see if that will work out Yeah, look at that. It's going to transport all the way over here. And it's only moving at 6 ms per second. I could probably make it go a little bit faster. This is just for a test experiment. And I could make it a lot larger now that I know how the fitment works. And it will drop down to whatever it's supposed to be. There you go. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I just made this little conveyor belt that works exceptionally well. I am going to enlarge the scale and redo this again because that was a nightmare. I actually, uh, you could see multiple merge blocks in the way because I, I screwed up a little bit. But ultimately, uh, the concept works. So I am going to stick with this and use this conveyor belt system for the rest of my build. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, please hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.